Local business owners are hoping changes in council will mean a change in rules for advertising on local government land. Now, many have lost customers after being forced to remove their signs or face fines. As the founder of a local baby and kids market, Julia Mika knows firsthand the importance and expense involved with advertising. She began drawing in customers by displaying signs on footpaths and median strips. A lot of small businesses are struggling on the coast and especially trying to um, bring quality events to the coast. I think it's really important and I really rely on those signage. But at the beginning of this year, council signage laws changed. I used to be able to put signs out five days um, prior to my event um, and now unfortunately I can only put it out um, five, five signs um, on the morning of an event. Julia was forced to remove her signs or face a fine of around $200 and it's severely affected um, the numbers at a couple of my events. To display an A-frame sign on council land, they must not interfere with traffic and the operator must hold public liability for at least $20 million. She hopes the new rules will be reviewed under the new council. I'm pro-business and I want to help business, but we also don't want to ruin the amenity of, uh, of, uh, of our region. Mayor Mark Jamison is open to discussion. Absolutely. I know, I'm, I'm keen to talk to business and understand what the issues are. Businesses like Julia Meekers could depend on it. Unfortunately, if the council don't change the signage laws, um, I'd have to relook at my business as a whole. Olivia Reid, 7 News.